start, uh, what's it called? Start getting good at it so you can carry me on the new one when it comes out. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Ooh, so another backstory. Let's oh, go. No, that doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. These are my favorite things of this game so no, far. Are these backstories? Conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means um. Right. I never learn. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh my God! You should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. Okay, lovely, lovely little walk right now. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. It's kind of far. Especially since you're walking like a sloth. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? And you just oh, broke say, the law. You better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, there's that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fucking deacon. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay. Ooh, oh wait, toxic. Second, no, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? Yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. Okay, you said this wasn't a far walk, fam. This is a big-ass walk. So, you know way past my Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get over a little more. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. I mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to Autogo Progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, this well, is all gibberish. I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah. No problem. Well, someone just left fireworks outside. Wait, 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 is this a pop card? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? These are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. God damn it, Deacon, of course. You dragged me up in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past Deacon to actually make that a thing. Yeah, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. No, you do not. Yeah, why aren't we holding hands? God. Bam. There we go. Look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh we're almost there. You ever wonder what it was? You said that like ten minutes ago. Just everywhere all at once. The lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this. 
What, you mean, like, all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay. Oh my god, sir. Come on. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Oh, oh no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen <laughs> fucking the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone, and I took a picture. You want me to show you? Oh my God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together, and you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. Geez, the fireworks outside. That is a huge commitment. Well, I have a toothbrush. You know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to <laughs> I wanna show you something. Well, she already saw it. See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will oh? I? <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, well, the second one. That's already out the window. The second one is that you never leave me. And that one is also out the window. GG. <laughs> Deacon broke God, two you promises. Your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Uh, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Death before defeat. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? <laughs> not that this one's yeah, not great. Absolutely, really. because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right, it's your that. ring. <laughs> it's more simple, without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And way to ruin the moment. Shit, I'm sorry. No, it's, your room. it's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. So it's no, crazy. No, I'll be right there. To see Sarah, cause she has okay, tattoos and like Is you don't okay? really see them. I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute, like th this time of night. I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. This entire relationship is scuffed from the beginning. Why do these loading screens take forever? This is literally the death of me. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Beth, and he doesn't have a pick. I can already tell that he sees through your bullshit already. 
that's this. Ooh. God, we're so close to like 100%ing this mission. Oh, what am I getting on my bike? Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. <laughs> the yeah, cloud. I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. My father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses Wolf buried people. in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. Shit. <laughs> You gotta love Deacon. Even though sometimes you hate him. What is this? You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. Mm, don't know if I'd call it that. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Oh, but hanging? Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Oh, it's the hey, dude again. Man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher man? <laughs> son of a preacher man shit you keep saying. I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! Hey, GG, Crystal. Crystal knows. Crystal already knows. The fucking St. John. God damn it. Addy. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? I like her. Or after? Answer the question. <laughs> Fuck you. She's my favorite. We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands Oof. this. The Almighty forgives Amen. this. Amen. But here. On this woman's face are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos? Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. Yep, she's my favorite. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. Oh, this is a cult. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? The ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's Goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. 
What about you? Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got. <laughs> I like him too. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? Damn right I don't. St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service and don't lie to me. I'll oh, know. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Let's go. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States. <laughs> against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and <laughs> support Taylor. to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed. Walk with me, son. Yes, sir, Colonel Garrett, sir. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? I do. Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here, we'll have the dog take a look at you. Ooh. Let's go. Bolts is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. Trust me, I, I know want that you to already. Get back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. What? Like, I can speak Spanish, but I, I don't know what, don't what that was referring to. Referring to an as a witch. For this game. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. This is another Iron Mike. Except a more lay the foot down. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning oh. bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? I am. Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed, you'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, um, that it's it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. I didn't even know that. What the hell is here? Okay, son, let's get you squared away. What do you say? Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Let's 
seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift for an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Yes, sir. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. You, let's sir. go. Yeah, let's get you some work. Don't know what rank that is, but corporal, let's go. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. That's a good thing. Oh, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. Okay, okay. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. Yes, sir. But trust me, I can fix my own bike. Ah! We are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't. It won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely. Our I mean, at least they've got plans. Plans, sir. It's, it's, it's something Franklin at least. once said, "By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail." We are not going to fail. Good mindset. Good mindset. Don't know how much I trust this guy, but he's okay so far. The heart of the army lives here at the gate. Ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use How long have we been standing here? Are you up for it, son? <sighs> yes. This is ridiculous. Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how Don't complain, ma'am. Let me show you. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> How are we going to kill the hordes? Please do tell. Whoa! Now! Shit! You Ooh. okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, name's Weaver, James. St. John, Deacon. Damn. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. Jesus. Real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. Wizard Island Witch. Why does a lot of people... A lot of people are saying that. 